do marijuana smokers get any of this benefit? Um, <clears throat> it's really hard to get the benefit when you um, take in the smoke. Marijuana, uh, and we should really call it um, high THC cannabis sativa. We need to change some of these terms because they've been, you know, they've, they've been altered adversely. But um, there is no doubt that there are medicinal marijuana benefits. You know, states that have legalized marijuana, they've done it based on the fact that it is known to have medicinal qualities and benefits to health. But the fact is that most of those benefits can be gotten from the hemp extract. Most of them are now being recognized available through the hemp extract. There are a couple of conditions that probably would do best if there was a little more THC in it. But overall, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, so one of the, the things that we always struggle with, and I just touched upon it, was really how well something absorbed. And with our system, the way we're able to deliver it, now smaller amounts of ingredients have significantly larger effect, right? So typically the reason people would go to smoking marijuana is because smoking up until now is the most efficient way of absorbing these ingredients, right? However, I think we can all agree that smoking is not, if you're trying to get healthy, smoking is <laughs> really detracting from that. So what we're finding is, and what we're studying, and we're actively in the middle of clinical studies right now, and these are gonna be the first of their kind. You know, we're, we're not ready to announce exactly what the results are, but when, they, when we are, they're gonna blow everybody away. And what you're gonna find out is that with a small amount of these non-THC actives, we're able to get significantly similar effects. How do you, are the marijuana, are the, the plants different that produce the marijuana smokers or is it a different type of plant that you use? Oh, it's a completely different plant. I mean. It's so the same species, but it. Uh, right, right. So, so we're, we're talking about it. You know, it's like you have a tiger and you have a lion, right? I mean, they're both cats, but they're, they're significantly different, right? Um, they can both be just as effective at hunting, but a tiger's a tiger and a lion's a lion. I think my wife and I both have family members that have been destroyed by marijuana. So, sure. You know, for over 40 years of using it. So we're just kind of wondering what the difference is here. You know, anything can be abused, and marijuana has certainly been abused by people, so it's affected their, their lives. What I, I want to make really clear the hemp extract that we're talking about has none of those properties that make people high or addicted. None of them. It only has beneficial components that enhance the endocannabinoid system that right. enhance health. And, and, and you don't smoke this. You. <laughs> right. and, and you know, the, the motto that we always go by is get well, not high. Okay, and that's really, really important because we want to give the, the healthy benefits for people to use this while going on about their day, right? We don't want to disrupt people's day. That's, that's one of the issues that a lot of people have with marijuana is you, you, you can't smoke it and then go to work. That's just inappropriate, right? But with this product, it's not psychoactive, right? It doesn't affect you. It's not going to keep you on the couch, you know, eating junk food and watching TV. It's, gonna, it's designed to actually take care of you so you can get up on your day, do your normal life, in the healthiest way possible. 